Finally, I get to be on the purple team this time in a brand new Splatfest coming up before you know it. It's going to be on January 6th through January 8th. That's Friday through Sunday, and it's going to focus on which food flavor is your favorite. Spicy, sweet, or sour? And yeah, Team Sweet? Pfft, can't be beat. I'm sure this is only going to increase the number of haha Cheeto Dust Fingers jokes for Shiver. <laughs> All three of these teams have foods that can come in a variety of bright colors, just like the theming of Splatoon. So actually, this Splatfest is pretty awesome. You know, Nintendo, if you wanted to give us a special treat for this food-themed Splatfest, you, you could give us maybe one of these for free? Or, or maybe more than one? Ooh! We get to see Fry in a completely different color palette. Purple is nowhere near the red or orange or yellow that we usually get for her. So for the long time Fry enjoyers, congrats. You and I <laughs> also get a completely different color. If you join Team Sweet, you could have one of these. Unless you're you, you don't get to have one, but it's okay, it's okay, we got, we got treats for you. <laughs> the fun thing about sweets is how many different flavors they can be and still be classified as sweets. Do you want like a gummy candy? Or do you want like a piece of chocolate? Doesn't matter, they're both sweet. You can still be on our team, please join us. You know you want to, ooh. <laughs> now Team Sour, ooh, they might be a threat. We all know the Big Man fans tend to be good at the video game. Having secured the glorious seashell points, not once, but twice in the past. And of course, we get to see the return of the beloved, the the shells from the shell out machine. Yay! <laughs> so, how do we fix that? We simply have to offer up Team Sour a bag of Sour Patch Kids. Why is that? Because Sour Patch Kids start sour and then turn sweet. It's part of the plan. You give them the candy, they take it. They say, mmm, this is such a tasty, tasty sour candy. And then while they're eating it, just like a YouTuber who isn't aware of a shot coming up, it becomes sweet and they go, I guess I was on Team Sweet all along. And just like that, we've doubled our numbers and Team Sweet is absolutely unbeatable. There's no way this could go wrong. No, no, not at all. <laughs> I feel like I could cut out sour, spicy food from my life and it really wouldn't be that bad. I'm not really the best when it comes to anything spicier than medium salsa to have with my chips. <laughs> Ooh, you know what would have been really evil? If they had a Splatfest where you could only pick one of these flavors to eat for the rest of your life, <laughs> then maybe I'd be on Team Sour instead of Team Sweet, but, you know. Don't mind if I just, um, if, if I just, um, if I just, uh, um, uh, um, uh. So yeah, Team Sweet, you better start doubling down on brushing your teeth. So we're ready to go when this Splatfest hits in just a couple of weeks. Isn't that crazy? Think about how close we are to 2023. Heck, maybe you're watching this video in 2023, closer to the Splatfest. Regardless, thank you for listening, and I hope that you're excited for a brand new Splatfest. If you enjoyed this video and or what I had to say, make sure you subscribe to catch more Splatoon content in the future. Have a good one. What about you, Pebble? What team are you on? Are you just on Team Water? Again, that was last Splatfest, Pebbles. Pebbles! Thank you.